Hello, this is Douglas Robinson. I am a Solutions Consultant at Beyond20 and today I'm going to be showing you how to manually specify an image to use for an avatar without importing it into the image manager within Sherwell. Now with the customer object to set an avatar out of the box you have this image section here and you have a button for set image and what this set image button does is it shows you legal values or valid values for the avatar field. To set an image you would just click this set image button and then you would select an image from your image manager and for convenience so we can see what's going on with this avatar field I have added it to the customer screen on one of my VMs so for one of our imported images you can see the imported tag here and then you can also see the scope of that image and then the name of the image that it's referencing. Now if we were to import or if we were going to create a definition for a linked file so we go to create a new image and we say that it's going to be linked to a file somewhere on our either on our local disk or on a network share uh, if you're going to link to an image it recommends that you do it on a network share using a UNC file path so that users and the application server will all have access to that image. So here we can see that I'm going to pick a file on, uh, on my local disk and it's telling me that this is not a UNC file path so it may not be available to all members and then I'm going to select this image here. Now here we can see that the value in the avatar field is going to show the word file and then the file path for that image. Now if we wanted to have each customer set up with an image but not have it imported into Sharewell using the image manager, for example if you had many different customers and you had all of their images sitting on a file share somewhere with an ID in the image that linked back to the customer what you could do is you could manually type in the address for that image and it would still work or you can have the avatar field here if you know the format of that image name for that file share that's going to go to each customer you could have that avatar field default to a specific value based on the customers information or have it calculate to a specific value but for the purposes of this video I'm going to go ahead and type in the address to a file share for an image that I want to set for this avatar so I'm going to go ahead and clear out this value here and once I do so you can see the image does actually default back to no image and I have a wonderful PNG file of our Beyond 20 logo right here on a network share. I'm going to go ahead and take the or copy down the address of this network shares directory so I can paste that into our avatar field and all I'm going to do here is type in file in square brackets and then type in the directory that this image is stored in and then I'm going to type in the file name of that image and as soon as I leave this field it's going to go and search for that file at that address and if it finds it it will load it if not and you have a typo or the name or the name or value of a file that does not exist in that directory you will get a blank image here Uh, an important note here, if you are going to use functionality like this for setting the value of your avatar to the image or to an image that is sitting on a shared drive, uh, you will need to make sure that your application server will have rights to access that network share for all of your smart client users if they want to be able to see this image or this avatar for that customer. And for users that are and for users that are logged into the portal this image will only show up if the application pool for your Sharewell portal is running under a service account or local account that also has access to this share that you're specifying for this customer. Uh, those security concerns aside, once you have 
set up your customer to fill in the avatar field this way you can pretty much put in any address that you want without directly importing these files into the image manager which is very convenient because there is no way to import many different files into the image manager especially on a recurring basis or an automatic basis so if you have a use case where you need to set avatars for many different customers and you need to do this as they're added to the system or on some kind of recurring basis and you know what the and you know some information about what these avatar images are going to be named and you have a value within those images that you can trace back to the customer record then you could theoretically build out your avatar field to look like this where you would place a employee ID or some other value that you can use to reference the image that you know will link back to the customer record and then as soon as that value exists in that directory it will automatically link up however if for some reason it does not you will get this blank image right here So for example, if I have a image file in my share with the value of 1002.png and I want to have that image link back to my employee who has a employee ID of 1002, then I just need to make sure that my avatar field has a value of that network share. And then the folder path where that image is going to be stored and then the name of that image and as long as that is a valid image we will see it show up right over here uh, for any other images that we want to show up we can actually have them stored on the local disk as well as long as the application server has access to that file you should not have any kind of issues getting that file to show up within your application. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see other instructional videos, please check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash beyond20llc and subscribe for updates for other videos that are posted. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below.